Akshita Nand Gopal is also with us. For more details on that, Akshita, at least thankfully the vehicle is safe and they had to stop the mission obviously midway because of a failure in the ignition, in the engine's ignition. This is going to be redone once again, but that process of examination obviously is going to be taking a while. Uh, that's right, Sneha. Good morning. Uh, you've been witnessing what's been happening since morning. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we got the update that, you know, uh, the test flight would actually happen at 8. Then it was delayed, delayed repeatedly. Finally, the time given was 8.45. And just about five seconds before liftoff is when the time uh, and the timer essentially stopped. So there were a lot of questions about what was going on. I know there was speculation about bad weather because there were intermittent showers also in Sri Harikota. But the ISRO chairman, you just heard there, has confirmed that that wasn't the issue. The mission has been aborted because of an engine ignition problem. Having said that, as you pointed out, the silver lining here, the good news is that uh, the module itself is safe. There's been no damage reported. And ISRO perhaps stopped and stalled the mission to ensure that there was no problem that would occur on that front. Because if... The module itself was affected in any way, Sneha. It would be essentially back to the drawing board for ISRO on that front. And it would have taken months again to start that entire process. So now we'll have to wait and watch uh, because uh, the analysis, the study will still happen by ISRO to understand what went wrong to make those changes. We don't have a date yet as to when the launch could happen uh, and whether this will actually delay the Gaganyaan mission per se. Early 2024 is when we're expecting big breakthroughs on that front. But having said that, our ISRO scientists detected this early. They spotted it early and that's what ensured that we didn't really have a problem per se of the crew escape module uh, being affected in any manner. This liftoff essentially was supposed to happen at about 8 in the morning, Sneha. It was supposed to last for about 535 seconds uh, where it would go up about 17 feet in us. the air. A high Mr. Asi Kapoor, former space scientist, is joining us live. Thank you so much for your time, sir. This is an announcement from ISRO that has come in that the vehicle is safe and we are analyzing the situation. But the takeoff for the Gaganyan test vehicle did not happen because of the engine ignition. That did not happen. What is your assessment, at least uh, initially, of the situation, sir? Actually, it's very difficult to speculate because it's such a complicated uh, system. Uh, that is uh, going to be launched and because obviously uh, in, in future it's going to involve uh, flying uh, our astronauts. So human life is uh, the most important thing. So before that, this test vehicle was to be launched today. And at the last moment, I think at minus five seconds of the launch, uh, they held the launch. And then uh, I just uh, saw uh, Dr. Somnath saying that uh, because of the weather condition, uh, they have... Um, held the launch for the moment and they will give an announcement. Other thing, I have no idea because uh, it's, <laughs> as you see, uh, when a plane flies, we say that a million things are at work, then only uh, the plane flies and then takes you uh, safely to your destination. Here also, it's more than much, far more than a million things that are in function. So all of them have to work together and just in case one small thing has happened, so we have no idea at the moment uh, only so we'll be able to uh, figure it out and then tell us. Uh, uh, till then, uh, I cannot say anything. But I will only say that it's good that they have held it because rather than uh, have some uh, something going wrong uh, in flight or whatever, uh, it's best that to make sure that everything is uh, functional properly and uh, their computer systems will indicate uh, uh, so where the, the problem might have uh, been. So let's see what uh, announcement comes from Expected. ISRO. Sometimes, it, it, in fact, this is at the end of the day a test mission to understand what could possibly go wrong uh, when we come to the, uh, you know, the, to the actual mission, sir, isn't it, Professor? Professor Kapoor, so the yeah. mission was held actually just five seconds before liftoff. You'd say that that was a good call. Yeah, that's right, because rather than uh, uh, see a mishap, which is because <laughs> we, we are such, uh, our, we, our hearts are there in that. You, you know, all the 142 crore people, and uh, we are just uh, um, expecting that uh, Gaganyan mission uh, takes uh, shape uh, sometime in the future. So this was, uh, as a test flight, we are uh, having our hopes that it goes up and uh, and does the uh, functions as expected. For example, the crew abort uh, test was to be performed. So uh, uh, that had to happen at about, uh, say, about uh, 17 kilometers above the ground. 
And before that, the rocket was to separate from the crew escape system and the crew module. So all of that was to be tested, and then uh, crew module was to be brought down uh, uh, through uh, parachutes uh, into the sea uh, uh, of the coast of uh, Sriharikota. And Navy was also uh, well prepared for it, and because with the train they would have lifted the, the crew module. So let's see uh, what ISRO has to announce, because um, in terms of, as far as the Gaganyan mission is concerned, there are supposed to be four test vehicle flights. This particular flight was to test uh, the escape uh, uh, systems uh, award, uh, how, how that takes place, and does it take place uh, in the planned uh, fashion. So uh, I cannot say at the moment uh, what may have gone wrong because uh, the rocket system itself is very, very uh, complicated. And as, and the famous phrase, it's rocket science, truly so. so I understand. I understand, sir, that you obviously don't want to speculate at this point in time because obviously even the scientists and even, uh, you know, Professor Somnath, like he just said, that we have to actually go and examine what really happened there. Uh, you know, but for the moment, it's been held back. The vehicle is safe, but this is far from simple, Professor Kapoor. Uh, you know, we're talking about sending humans to space at the end of the day. I mean, there has to be no room left absolutely whatsoever for error, isn't it? The margin of error has to be almost nil, isn't it, Professor Kapoor? Uh, certainly so. You have said it well, and uh, there is there's no scope for any... Uh, error because one small thing and then the whole thing can go off because space is hostile and here you see most powerful rocket of India uh, has to eventually function so uh, at the time of lift off uh, we uh, hold our breath we just see as the launch takes place uh, we, as we have seen recently Aditya L1 launch and uh, Chandrayaan 3 launch also uh, they happened very successfully and uh, so we assume that uh, this time also everything is going perfect and uh, the launch will take place as uh, scheduled. But um, it's good that it has been held because uh, it, one has to make sure that everything is in perfect uh, order so that uh, the launch takes place successfully because uh, the next test, test flight depends on how this flight went and then subsequent flights also. So, uh... Right. Professor Kapoor, in fact, I'm going to thank you for joining us with your views on that. It's a good thing that was held back in the last five seconds is what Professor Kapoor has said. A listen in to what uh, uh, ISRO chief, in fact, Professor Somnath had to say, announcing what really happened, what really went wrong. That's what he said a few moments ago. Listen in. The lift-off attempt of TVD1 uh, could not happen today. The, initially, the launch was scheduled at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. There was a postponement of the lift-off time to 8.45 due to weather situation. And uh, we had a very smooth ALS, uh, the automatic launch sequence leading up to the command to lift off uh, the, the engine. But the engine ignition has not happened in the nominal uh, course. Uh, we have to find out what went wrong with that. Uh, the vehicle is safe. The, all the entire vehicle is very safe. Uh, we will have to reach the vehicle and then look at what has happened now. Uh, we will come back soon after analyzing what has uh, triggered the automatic launch sequence holding the vehicle. So what has happened is the onboard, the computer which is doing this function, the ground checkout computer which is doing the function has withheld the launch in view of the anomaly observed. So we will come back with the anomaly uh, understanding and correct it and schedule the launch very soon. Uh, that will be announced a little later after the analysis is completed.